Hello and welcome to student exploring the Office 365 administrator interfaces on your practice labs under the GSS project course. So here in this video, I'm going to familiarize you. I'm going to introduce you with the administrator interfaces we have in the Office 365. And it is going to be really interesting and really good to know because before totally get into the Office 365 labs and tools and features, you must know all the administrator interfaces and where to find what and that's, that kind of thing is really important because if you didn't even know about the full scale capabilities and features of any product, but if you know where to find your need and where to go to reach what you need, so in that case, you can easily start exploring by your own. So let's move to the PLF's machine and let's log on to the portal.office.com. Now here on the PLF Intent machine, I already I already browsed this portal.office.com and here I'm going to use my credential that we used here in this lab. And you're going to use your trial account that you created in the previous video. So if you missed that, go back to the previous video and find out that account to log in in this portal. So here, let me log in to the Office 365 portal. Then we're going to explore how it's looked like and what sort of features you have in the Office 365 product. So if you are using different accounts in the same browser, in the same machine so sometimes it may ask you to sign in again so here let's make it simple and click to the sign in and let's explore this office 365 portal so this is the portal we are using here and to explore the administrator interfaces you need to click to the app launcher on the left top corner and there you're gonna find the admin option so click to the admin option and it can redirect you to the admin center of your Office 365. And while it is browsing, let me show you the document, the manual that you will have before starting this lab. So here's your manual and in how it looks like. So it contains the objective and the screenshots, you know, and the machines that you're going to need. And the same trial account that you created, which you are going to need while accessing the Office is your portal. So let's go back to the Office is your portal. So here, as you can see under the admin center, you have all these options. So the top one and the most useful is the user because when you are administering the whole portal, you really need to, and you frequently going on the user settings and you will have some complaints and Query some tickets that tells that you need to change the password or you need to assign some licenses because this office is your portal is all the way help you to assign licenses or you can simply expire and withdraw your licenses to a specific user or the group of people group of users so it's up to you so if you click to the user you will find these options so we're going to click to active user and this active user thing show you all the users that are currently working and it also shows you the licenses each user have so right now we have two one is the admin and the second one is mine and it contain all the required licenses that we required and we need to show you these labs and this is very cool thing that you are seeing you're getting the license details just against the username and the email and here if you want to add some more licenses so we'll we'll cover that stuff in the in the next coming videos few more videos so you will get the idea that how you can assign different licenses in the same way if you click to the contacts so it will show you all the contacts you have and these are the guest user and right now we don't have any and if you deleted any user so it will go here in the deleted user section and if you want to restore that specific user so you can easily restore that user so let's say if we but might be it won't let us to delete this admin but let's try so here it's loading and if i click to delete user so let's see what happens 
please don't close until we're finished deleting the user so it will go here it will go on the deleted user and then you have a chance to revert back to restore that deleted user from this recycle button kind of section yes definitely it won't let us to delete this admin but it may go to the deleted user but we cannot do it from here now you can select this tss dmv and click to restore the user so what's going to happen that it will restore that user on the same location so so when you're restoring and reverting back your user so it will ask you to auto generate the password or you can create the new password so likewise i did I select let me create the password and set some strong password and click to restore so here you're gonna find that this password will be set to this user and it will be restored as you can see this success message and when you click to the active user so here you're gonna find that the user is successfully restored so it's it's same it has no license so that's why it chose unlicensed against that and now let's explore another tab and other options we have so here you have plenty more options to administer different office 365 features so if you click to show all so it's going to show you some more admin center options but before that the best thing and the really really needed thing for any administrator, any other professional who's managing or administering any portal, any feature, any 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 sort of managing application, is what the health. So if you click to expand the health and want to see the health of your portal, of your whole environment of a TC5, so you can simply click where where you can explore simply by clicking on health and once it shows you different options like the service health the message center because the message center is a key thing here that will provide you the details and like if you have any security loop or if you need to update things if you are running out of licenses anything else that is required to know to the administrator to the manager of the whole portal will be updated here so in that case if any new update pop up if any change occur in this office 65 environment you will get the message you will get it's a kind of log thing where you will have all the logs of the changes and of the products and you will get different license detail or any new subscription detail and any offer by the Microsoft you will easily get from here on the message center in the same way if you click to the service health so it will show you all the issues in 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 your environment that needs to be focused or needs to be reviewed so you can jump directly to the service health and it shows you all the required stuff all the required practices that needs to be done so here you can see against Microsoft 365 Defender it has some advisory so you can go it on it and you can review the advice and it's up to you if you want to implement in the same way you have some Microsoft Intune advisory and it says users that have app protected conditional access are unable to access the mobile application app via the Intune so you can directly click and it will redirect you to the required portals and required managing consoles and managing centers where you can fix those issues and here you can see that except these two things everything looks good and it shows healthy against all these different features and products so in this way you will get hint and advices from the Microsoft and under the exchange online you have multiple advisories and you can follow you can review and then you can modify your environment against those advisories and in the same way you have the network connectivity center here where you can check out the network connectivity of your office 65 
and here you can switch to the location tab and then you can add different sort of location of your offices and it's up to you which location you want to add and they're providing you a manual method to add your office location and here it will redirect you to the Bing map and where you can simply provide the coordinates of your office and here in the same way you have the directory sync status and it shows you how your directory is synced with the local directories and other stuff related to those domains so if you have a local active directory and you want to sync your local directory with the office 65 so you will see the messages and the details here on the directory sync status and it's also mentioned here on top here the latest sync detail for your on-premises active directory now let's move to the other and that's the most important is exchange so as you know exchange contain your email stuff and as a office 65 administrator you know that this exchange stuff is really required and we need to be more specific and more correct while configuring while addressing these exchange stuff because this is the product that is making this office 65 comprehensive and more required for any organization because it it eliminates the on-premises exchange server and replacing it with a cloud exchange server environment that's why there are multiple companies plenty of the companies moving uh, towards this office 65 this cloud email server and here you have different options like the recipient permissions compliance organization protection advanced threat you can define each and every option as as your requirement and later on this course on these projects we will cover these stuff so you will see and you will experience that how you can configure a newly cloud environment newly cloud exchange solution into your corporate network then we few other products that we want to explore in this video so you need to go back to the admin center and here you have the Microsoft Teams and here you can explore different settings related to Microsoft Teams and you can work and you can configure the collaboration co collaborative environment within your network or within your company and it will allow and it will let different users from di different environment from different network to work hand in hand with your IT professionals or with your corporate employees to just make the company growth on the top and just bring different sort of solution ideas to your environment because most of the time we need third party persons and third party resources to work along with our own employees and with our own resources and there are most of the cases we invite different organization and their guys to work with hand in hand with your teams so here under this Microsoft team admin, admin center you can define things you can make different sort of environment and you can manage user you can provide accesses and you can even manage your voice communication and there is a lot of stuff here we cannot specify it with a single or few features it contain whole bunch of features that you need to explore and you need to perform different labs and you need to understand the concept so it's it's a whole world and we're going to explore it in the coming later videos now let's move to admin center back and there you have the SharePoint and it's another collaborative tool that allows you to share stuff to share your different sort of resources at a single point and Microsoft is providing this platform to you where you can share sites and you can add sites and you can plan migration and you can you can create a convergence point 
from different sites to a single site so there's a lot of stuff related to sites and stuff in this here in this SharePoint admin center and we're going to explore in the coming videos I'm just giving you a little overview of these admin center products then you have the security center and if you click here so definitely security and compliance contain all the compliance of the features of the licenses and the you know every time when your product is used it gets some updates from the network so how these updates will be triggered and what sort of security policies you want to maintain you want to apply on each user and what sort of information you don't let the user take outside from your network so it's upon you and this portal provide you ways to just secure all this communication all the user or also you can set alert thing that will alert you before any incident because you know the the threats and these attacks these cyber attacks are getting more complex than ever before so we definitely need security and this whole sort of filtering and protection everywhere in this whole IT environment and Microsoft 365 product that contains this Microsoft 365 Defender is really required in each and every area like the Azure like the Office 365 and other Microsoft products and they are understanding the need of the market and they are adding these security layers all over their products and all over their trainings and they are just developing those skills in the market that are providing the competitive skills and the competitive products that are providing a secure feeling to any user to any company that if you are purchasing our product for your business for your growth so we are securing you as well as we are providing you dynamic features and dynamic tools to increase your production on on the multiple and different scenarios so here that's it for this video and we explore enough and definitely you feel that there are a lot of things that we need to show and we we have to cover but later on we will create a separate video series on each and every admin center product so we're going to explore it in more detail and in this video we we just gave you a little review of this office 365 portal and in the coming video we're going to explore some other sort of stuff and other basic usage of this office 365 portal and how to administer how to manage different features that are required on the level one support of the office 65 so that's it for this video